it's a brand new year and you wonder, where did all my money go? Sana ba napunta yung pera ko? Because you know you've been earning for years, you've seen your salary increase, and yet you wonder, why am I still stressed and overwhelmed with managing my finances? If this is you, I will talk about the three real reasons why this is the case and how you can overcome financial anxiety and stress for good. Let's go! First reason is we're gonna get real deep right away because this is something I wish I knew earlier when it comes to managing my finances efficiently, managing my finances in such a way that I feel in control of my money instead of money controlling me. And that is the first real reason why you're stressed is because you need to understand that when it comes to feeling financially free and feeling in control of your money is that money management is only 10 percent of the work 90 percent is overcoming the negative thoughts you have around money so let me explain i thought that if i just have more discipline or probably that's what you're thinking about is that if i just follow a specific budget tracker i just follow a specific budgeting app if i just follow all of the budgeting hacks i see online then i will finally feel financially free i will finally stick to my budget i'll finally save consistently well guess what that's only 10 percent of the work if you want to be in control and financially free when it comes to managing your finances and making money decisions that you feel in control about think about it if you feel like managing your finances is dreadful it feels like a chore it feels boring it feels overwhelming it's frustrating you're gonna give up you're gonna avoid it or if you do face it, you're not really facing it head on. You're like, okay, these are my expenses. I'm tracking it. I guess I'm doing a good job. But you don't really have an action plan on how you're going to be consistent with managing your finances. Because every month in your mind, it's something that is stressful. It's something that is dreadful. It's something that is overwhelming to you. And so why are you going to be consistent with tracking it, with managing it, with making the right money decisions? If you have these negative thoughts and associations around managing your money you will always be stressed about it you will always not stick to the habits that you want you'll never be consistent with saving or spending in a way that is aligned with your goals so if you've been inconsistent if you've been anxious around managing your finances this is one of the biggest reasons that i've seen when coaching my clients is that when they have these negative associations negative thoughts and negative beliefs around money it really prevents them from being in control of money and these negative thoughts, let's just dig deeper. This is actually the real problem we need to solve is where are these negative thoughts, beliefs around money? Where did it start? What's the root cause of it? Because that's only when we understand that. That's only when we can find out what is the real solution to the root problem. And so what I've noticed when coaching my clients is that these negative thoughts around money are deeply, deeply conditioned and ingrained from childhood. For example, you grew up seeing parents or adult figures constantly fight around money and so growing up subconsciously you think about money equals a stressful situation or growing up you were told that you need to work long hours in order to be successful and so when it comes to managing your finances you tend to overcomplicate it you tend to exert more effort because in your mind subconsciously you think that if it requires more effort if it feels hard if it feels complicated if it's making it difficult for you if it's requiring effort then it's finally going to work out you're finally going to be successful with managing your finances or maybe growing up you were shamed for wanting things wanting things outside of your needs wanting things that other people don't want maybe your parents said that about you or maybe your friends said that about you like you're not supposed to want those things hindi natin afford yan or like selfish yan kapag ginusto mo yan so growing up as you become an adult, you're subconsciously going to guilt trip or shame yourself whenever you want things or whenever you spend on something for yourself. As a result, you're going to start believing the things that you were told growing up. It'd be like, ah, magasos ka, or spoiled ka, or kailangan magsakripisyo ka, or kailangan maging lagi kong obedient. You always say yes to what your parents want. Or dapat hindi mo i-vocalize yung gusto mo. Dapat nakikinig ka lang lagi sa opinion ng mas patanda sa'yo. Like, these are the things that subconsciously shape your beliefs and thoughts around money. And so, growing up as adults, now it's going to be the real work that we need to do as adults is figure out what are these thoughts and beliefs around money that are no longer serving us that have been deeply conditioned from childhood 
that shouldn't be true about us anymore that are not really facts that were just told upon us to be true but in reality it's not we want to be aware of these negative thoughts we have around money because only then will we be able to reframe our mindset around money where it doesn't become stressful rather it becomes empowering and exciting for us to save consistently to spend on ourselves without feeling guilty and being able to save for our future goals without sacrificing the present or without depriving ourselves so what i want you to think about is when it comes to these negative thoughts around money our mind is so powerful that we grasp onto these negative beliefs and thoughts around money thinking that it's protecting us from something that is harmful to us and so we want to be aware of those to realize that it's all just in our mind and it's not really actually something that could hinder us so my analogy here is like it's similar to viewing your finances like that monster in the closet that you don't want to face you don't want to open the closet and so what happens is all of the fears and worries in your mind they build up it becomes scarier and scary it makes you even more anxious and more anxious because you don't want to face it you just want to keep it there because you're too scared to open the closet and face the monster that you think is in your mind and then only to find out you realize that you have the power to turn on the light to switch the light on before you open the door and realize there was never a monster in the first place there was nothing to fear it was just all up in your mind and this is my analogy when it comes to these limiting beliefs these negative thought patterns we've had around money like these are just thoughts that made us believe that they are facts when in reality they were all just created in our mind and when we realize that they are no longer serving us that's when we could reframe it that's when we can really really solve what's finally stopping us from managing our finances in an empowered way this is what i learned like in my coaching training as a money mindset and life coach it's so 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 mind-blowing to me how powerful our mind is in dictating our money habits and actions i've really trained in understanding the language and science of the mind in a way that we become in control of our mind so we can finally instill habits that stick. So when I coach my clients through powerful mindset exercises, empowering coaching questions, this is what allows my clients to identify the negative thought patterns and limiting beliefs that they've had around money. And I help them reframe these thoughts into more empowering beliefs. When they're able to release these negative thoughts and limiting beliefs around money, they're now able to create room, mental capacity in their mind to actually believe that they are more than capable, resourceful to manage their finances with excitement because they now are able to see that they could use their finances as a tool to funding their huge life milestones one by one. You can watch this interview with my client, Angel. She shared there how I helped her in releasing the negative thoughts that she's had around money for several years because only when she was able to release that was she able to finally stay consistent with her financial system that enabled her to be confident in funding her independent living. She finally moved out of her parents' house. She finally launched her dream business. She finally ticked off the things in her bucket list because she's finally able to have consistent money habits and now she's able to see her finances in a way that she's confident in managing it rather than feeling overwhelmed and frustrated of not sticking to her budgets month on month i love what you shared at the end of our coaching is that managing finances can now be fun and exciting only when she released these negative thoughts around money was she able to manage her money in a way that empowers her and in a way that's truly aligned with funding her goals because these are thoughts that have been buried at the back of our heads since we don't even remember like these are just things that we grew up about and didn't question and so only when you have that safe space to talk about it to converse about it and someone to guide you in really organizing your thoughts and finding out the beliefs that have been holding you back that's only when you have the mental capacity to actually clarify your financial goals to actually be consistent with managing your finances knowing that you're not held back anymore by these outdated beliefs and negative thoughts around money so here's my for baby i can join lang siya hi this is sushi hmm? Laki-laki niya na, guys. Mag-one-year-old na siya. Okay. 
So if you also want to have that safe space to vocalize your fears, your beliefs, your negative thoughts around money, so you could finally break the mindsets that no longer serve you. So you could finally have a healthy relationship with money where you're no longer held back by money anxiety and financial stress. Rather, you're now able to build consistent money habits and systems. So you are now empowered to fund your huge life milestones. And I would love to invite you as well inside my five-month coaching program fund your freedom in the first 60 days this is where my clients are already able to break away from the negative thoughts around money from their limiting beliefs around money and actually they always tell me like wow i'm actually excited to manage my finances now i'm actually confident about where my money is going and how i'm gonna track it and how i'm gonna be consistent with the plans and they never thought that they would actually say that and i wanted to share that so that you see like this is actually possible when you have a safe container to talk about the things that have held you back to open up in a safe space where you could finally reframe these beliefs into something that actually is going to empower you to live your best life with managing your finances so if you also want that safe space that personalized support for building consistent and sustainable money habits and systems this new year so you could finally check off and fund your huge life milestones one by one then make sure you check out my website down below on how you can join my five-month coaching program where there is one one-on-one coaching and then community support and this is where my clients have broken free from unhealthy spending habits money anxiety financial pressure and finally have that financial peace of mind and confidence that they're able to manage their finances towards funding their huge life milestones one by one i have tons of testimonials on my website so you can just get inspired of the success stories of my clients and see how it's absolutely possible for you as well Moving on to the second reason why you're still stressed and overwhelmed with managing your finances despite earning more is this fact that earning more only amplifies the habits you already have. I swear to you, I've coached several Filipino professionals. Like I have freelancers who are earning six figures. I've coached small business owners who have doubled their income year on year. I have Filipino corporate professionals who have seen their income increase year on year. And yet they still came to me asking for help that how can I save consistently? Because I thought that now that I'm earning more, I'll finally manage my finances better. I'll finally save consistently, but no. If you've been used to impulsive buying with your current salary, it's gonna be the same or even worse when your salary increases. If you're used to coping with stress through retail therapy, it's gonna be the same when your salary increases and most likely you're gonna encounter more stress because when you increase your salary, you might have more workload, right? And so when you experience stress again as your salary increases, it's gonna be the same because you're used to that habit that when I'm stressed, I'm going to shop, I'm going to spend. If you're used to overgiving to your loved ones because it's selfish if you don't give to them and give in to all of their requests, it's gonna be the same or even worse when you have additional income or you have that second income stream or have a salary increase because you're just used to not prioritizing yourself. You're used to prioritizing everyone else's needs, everyone else's requests, but your own. We think that earning more will magically change our spending habits, our saving habits, but no. It's only going to be amplified when you receive more money. That's why it's so important that when I coach my clients is that they are able to build consistent and sustainable money habits and systems with their current income stream now before they increase their income, before they add another income stream, before they start investing, before they add more cash flow into their bank account because guess what? That additional income is gonna be useless if you still don't have the proper money habits in place. In the same way, if you already have the solid money habits, like you know how to spend intentionally without being guilty you know how to save consistently without depriving yourself if you're able to master those money habits guess what when you do start earning more you're gonna be confident in managing that money wisely and as a result you'd know how to maximize your resources now that will truly go towards funding your huge life milestones one by one instead of it being a waste because you have still
feel the same toxic spending habits or inconsistent money habits. A great example for this is my kind Hazel when I interviewed her on my YouTube channel. She actually came to me at the lowest point with her finances. She was back to zero despite having been earning six figures with her freelancing business. She admitted that even though she was making good money, she was never really good at managing it, at handling it, but then she decided to change that when she joined my coaching program. After I guided her in developing the right mindset, systems, and habits around money, she went from zero to happily saving every month consistently. And the keyword there is happily saving because that's how she said it. Like now I'm happily saving and that's how I want you to look at saving. Like it's actually something that you are looking forward to, something that empowers you, something that excites you. Because when you see saving that way, in a way that is aligned with funding your goals and it's very, very clear that you have a roadmap, you have a system to get there. Saving is just gonna be part of the process. Saving is just something that would empower you that you can do consistently. And because she became confident with managing her money, she realized that this created a domino effect in booking clients consistently as well. Because she realized that at the time when she was not signing clients consistently, it was because she had the belief in her head that if I sign another client, what if I don't manage that cash flow properly? What if I still manage it wrongly and wala na namang mapuntahan or wala na namang proper way of managing it or wala na namang proper way of handling it in such a way that I'm gonna save consistently. So ultimately, once I guided her with a sustainable financial system that she can easily stick to, she then felt ready and equipped to manage her business cash flow, which then gave her more confidence to sign more clients into her business, knowing that she knows how to manage it well. I love that she shared that she's no longer a slave of money. Rather, she now feels in control of her money because now she knows where it goes. She now knows how to manage it properly. Ultimately, because she now has the personalized financial system that I guided her with, where she is crystal clear with the steps she needs to take that would allow her to fund her dreams into reality. So this is my message to you that what you're earning right now is enough as you are. You are enough as you are. So if you want to solve your money anxiety, your financial stress, it starts with now, with the current income stream you already have and building the right money habits with the current income that you have so that you don't have to feel pressured about, oh, maybe I need to add more side hustles. Maybe I need to add another income stream only for you to realize that even if your income increased, even if you added an income stream, it's still the same you're still gonna be stressed. You're still gonna be anxious because more money is not gonna solve your money anxiety. It's not gonna solve your financial stress because the deep root problem that you need to solve goes back to the negative thoughts around money that I talked about. And second is how can you already be consistent with your money habits with the current income stream you already have so that when you do start earning more, you know how to manage it well. You know how to maximize your resources and you have a solid financial system and money habits in place that would empower you to save consistently towards funding your life goals one by one. Third reason why you're probably still stressed and anxious about your finances despite earning more is you have no clear direction for your life. So you're probably asking, Nick, anong connection? We're talking about finances here, right? Let me tell you how deeply connected it is. If you're stressed with your finances, it's actually because you're stressed with where your life is going. If you have no clear plans for the future, it's easy to give up on saving consistently because you don't have a clear picture of what it's actually for. If you don't know what you truly want out of life, then it's easy to settle for instant gratification, yet you're never really satisfied. If you don't have clear life goals in line with your version of freedom, then you'll constantly compare your savings or earnings to your peers, to the people around you, and not feeling like it's going to be enough. It's constantly feeling like, when will it be enough? And so when you think that way, it's gonna make you even more anxious, still anxious, and even more stressed. Having been coaching Filipino professionals to overcome money anxiety and build sustainable money habits, this is what I've observed. Only when I guided them with a crystal clear vision and goals, with a clear roadmap on how to get there, that's only when it became easy to create a financial system that is tailor-fit 
to funding those goals. And because it's so crystal clear how to get there, they see how their financial system is going to be a tool to get there. And so they're going to be excited to stick to it. So how I want you to think about this is my analogy is like your financial system is just like a car. And this vehicle is only going to be useful if someone is behind the steering wheel with a clear destination in mind. In the same way, your financial system is just a vehicle. It's a vehicle wherein you have to be the one in control driving the steering wheel and you only become in control of that when you have a clear direction of where you're going. Otherwise, you're just going to keep driving around circles, paikot-ikot ka lang, wasting gas, and we know how expensive gas is, right? So this is what's happening when you're trying to follow all of these money management tips, budgeting hacks that I've just talked about earlier, para full circle tayo. Like all of these money management tips, all of these budgeting tips, but you're just blindly following them because you have no clear direction for your life. Because I believe that your financial system needs to adjust to your life stage, to your life priorities, to your life goals. Instead of, unahin natin na ito yung financial system daw na nag-work sa iba. Ito daw yung best financial tracker, therefore I'm gonna force myself to make it work to me. But no, we need to get crystal clear first on where our life is going, what we truly want out of life. And that's where we're gonna tailor fit a financial system that will allow us to get to that life that we want. Because ultimately, isn't that what our finances should be for? Like when I was able to crack this, like with my finances in my life, like because when I was in my quarter life crisis, ang gulo gulo ko rin sa pagsispend ko, I was yo yo saving, I was spending unnecessarily, I was hoarding skincare, hoarding workout clothes. Like when your life is in crisis mode, how you handle your finances is also going to feel like it's in crisis mode. Magkadikit siya eh, because that's what I realized is how you do one thing in your life is gonna be the same thing with the other aspects of your life. And that goes the same with if you don't know where your money is going it's also because you don't know where your life is going to so that's why when I coach my clients we start off first with mapping out what they truly want out of life really understand what are the crystal clear goals and milestones that would get them to what their version of freedom is to what their dream life looks like because most often than not I've realized like we create goals out of societal expectations out of pressure from people out of what my peers are already doing and maybe i should also do that like this is the missing piece that my clients realize is that they have created financial system based on societal expectation societal pressure versus when we started off with having that safe space having that container for them when i coach them of like what they truly want out of life and actually create tangible and concrete goals that are actionable that are actually achievable from there i guide them with a financial system and roadmap tailor fit to funding their dream lifestyle into reality and so it excites them to spend with purpose as a result they don't feel like money is in control of them rather they finally feel in control of where their money is going because they're also crystal clear with where their life is going. That's why I love it when my clients tell me that when they join my program, they thought that they were just gonna get a system, how to manage their finances better, but it's really way more than that. The whole foundation of how I coach my clients is digging deep into what they truly want out of life, who they are at the core, what is really the goals that are in line with their version of true happiness, of their version of freedom. Because from there, that's where creating a financial system that would allow them to fund that life that they want, that is tailor fit to their own goals, that is tailor fit to their version of freedom because it differs person per person. And yet, here we are in society trying to force ourselves, trying to follow all of the common budgeting hacks and wonder why it doesn't work for us. It's because we have different version of what freedom looks like for us. We have different goals that would be in line with what true happiness is for us. Because only when we tailor fit our financial system according to the goals that we truly want out of life, that's only when it's going to be sustainable. That's only when you're gonna be excited to stick to it instead of dread it or feel stressed about it. That's why as a money mindset and life coach, I love that I get to coach my clients holistically. Like I infuse both life coaching and financial coaching where they get to finally get crystal clear on the life that they truly want on their terms instead of chasing goals that are just 
expectations or just out of pressure rather they now are able to gain clarity on the life that they truly want and then overcome the negative thoughts and beliefs that they have around money the negative beliefs the limiting beliefs that have been stopping them from funding these dreams that they want for themselves because as we talked about is like being financially free managing your finances with confidence it's 10 percent money management and 90 percent overcoming the negative thoughts around money so it's really that it's like so now that I get to coach them with gaining clarity on the life that they truly want and having tangible goals around it. Then we look at what are the the limiting beliefs, what are the negative thoughts around that that have been preventing you for funding that life and then third is now that we were able to reframe those beliefs into something that's more empowering then they will be ready to create a financial system that is created towards funding the goals knowing that there are no more mindset blocks that are stopping them from taking action on their goals rather they will now be excited to stick to their financial system knowing that it's gonna bring them a step closer to funding their dream life into reality and it's just the most fulfilling thing ever that I get to create this impact on my clients' lives inside my coaching program. Like in the first 60 days, first two months of working together, they finally feel in control of their money. They finally feel excited to save. They finally have a financial system that they are excited to stick to. And more importantly, they feel empowered and confident now to make wise money decisions that are aligned to living out the life that they truly wanted for themselves. And if you also want that tailored fit support in building sustainable money habits and systems for funding your dream life into reality, then check out my website on how you can join my coaching program. You will find all the details there on how we can work together for five months this new year so that you could finally be consistent with your money habits and finally break free from the unhealthy spending habits, overcome money anxiety, overcome financial pressure, and finally feel in control of how you manage your finances in a way that would allow you to fast track funding your huge life milestones this new year. And if you want to get more tips on how to stop overcomplicating your finances, check out this video for more tips and I will see you there.